happy Monday. So I'm vlogging my week this week. Lots of fun things are going on. My mom's coming to town. I have a date party. I have to finish my final paper. That's not a fun thing, but I have to get it done. So yeah, lots is happening. Um, I just stopped by the leasing office. I picked up some packages that I had. I thought I had more, but apparently the rest of them are coming later today. So I guess I'll make another stop by tomorrow. But I'm gonna get ready to go to work right now. Here's just what I'm wearing. I just have this top from Set Active. Shorts are from Lululemon. And yeah, after work, I might be stopping by the house. It's actually my sorority's philanthropy week. So there's like a little like shopping event there. So I might stop by that. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, I'm back from work and I got a fat bag of stuff from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna do a little haul and then open the packages I got earlier and show y'all what I got. So I was gonna stop by the sorority house, uh, our little like shopping event that we had, but I have to work on my paper tonight and I'm honestly just so exhausted that by the time I got there, it was gonna be almost done anyway. So it wasn't really worth making the trip over there. So yeah, anyway, first off I got some flowers to put in my flower vase. I, these are like the rainbow like baby sparks that they have and they're so pretty. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like they like last really well too because they like dry really pretty and so I love having these. So I'll put those in my vases probably today. And then I just got some eggs, bread, basic stuff. These are one of my holy grail items. These are so good. You have to be careful though because these are literally like eating chips. They're so addicting but they're amazing. And then these. I've never seen these before, but I wanted to try them. They're the cookies and cream pretzels, and they looked really good, so thought I would try it. Then, of course, other holy grails. These babies, sweet potato gnocchi, and the chickenless orange chicken, because we all know I tried the real orange chicken that they had, and it was nasty. So I'm never cheating on my fake chicken meat. And then I just got some pasta, and then more holy grail, the Mediterranean feta. That's good and then i got a couple clip bars so that's my trader joe's haul and then now i'm gonna show y'all my packages that i got i actually got two more packages delivered today after i picked up these packages already so i'm gonna get those tomorrow so i'll show y'all those tomorrow but this one is from hello molly and it is my formal dress and my graduation dress i'm really hoping that these fit and that i don't hate them my formal dress I feel like is a little iffy. I ordered it last week. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like how it looks on me, but I'll try it on and you can see. So this is my potential formal dress. I really hope I like what it looks like on me, but it's this purple, like one shoulder cutout dress kind of thing. And then this one is my graduation dress and I'm picking grad pictures in it too. This one I'm so excited about. It's this little lacy dress. It is so stinking cute. I really hope it fits. Fingers crossed it fits. Oh no, wait. Oh my gosh, this looks tiny. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna try it on and we're gonna figure it out. Okay, false alarm on the dress being too small. It actually fits and it's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear it. These aren't the shoes that I'm wearing. I just threw these on to just kind of get like an overall view of what it's gonna look like, but it is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, now this is the formal dress and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I kind of feel like I'm about to bust out of it, but this is what it looks like. It just has this little cutout right here and then the one shoulder um, it fits like fine up here, but then like right here, like it's just, I don't know. Like, I think it's supposed to kind of fit that way maybe, but I don't know. It's, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll get something else. I don't know, but yeah. All right. Good morning. It's Tuesday now. Last night I finished that game notes assignment, whatever, but it was awful, but I got it done. I'm also exhausted and... Yeah, I was drinking my Celsius on the way here and I like choked on it in the middle of the road. So that's great. I have all three of my classes today. So today's gonna be kind of long. I'm really tired. I'm really drained. I don't feel good. Um, and this, you know what? This is just reality of college sometimes. And tonight is gonna be grinding on my paper. I'm just at the point where I'm just so exhausted and I, not that I'm ready to be done, but like, I really don't want to write another like 15 page paper ever in my life, so that's where I'm at. I'm gonna head to class. It's 
it's kind of gloomy outside today. Maybe that's why my mood's so, ugh. But, yeah. Okay, it is a lot later. <laughs> Um, it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, classes were fine today. I'm so exhausted. I've been trying to do my paper and y'all, I just like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've literally written like, I just, my brain hurts. There's just no other way to put it. My brain hurts. I'm exhausted. I just want to get this done. I just want to graduate and get it done so I never have to do anything like this ever again in my life. But I went to work after I had class and I've been trying to work on this paper ever since I've been home. I didn't get as much done of it as I wanted to. That's partially because I don't feel very good. I have like this headache that I've had like all day. I don't know, I just feel like off. Hopefully I can get more of this done tomorrow, which I really wanted to get like all of it done tomorrow because I have a date party tomorrow. I know I can get enough done to where I can still go to the date party and be fine. But I'm just at the point where I'm just like, exhausted and my brain just isn't functioning anymore so i'm just gonna go to bed um but i have a core change class in the morning so i'll go to that come back work on the paper go to work come back work on the paper more and then go to the date party so that's my day tomorrow super exciting stuff um yeah okay happy wednesday i'm wiped i went to court change this morning and i just got back picked up the rest of my packages from the leasing office so i'm gonna do a little unboxing and show y'all what i got because one of the things especially is really exciting so i guess i'll do this one first this one's from princess polly they had like a big warehouse sale so i got a couple things that i thought i might need so i got four things so I'm going to a frat formal in NOLA um, in like two weeks. So I need a dress for it. And I found this. I can't tell how it's gonna look on me, but I figured I'd try it anyway because it was like super on sale. Um, and I don't really want to spend a ton of money, but it's like this sparkly like blue dress kind of thing. So I'm gonna try that on later and see if I like it. And then next I got this pink dress that I'm hoping I can wear for Easter. I don't know if it's gonna be too small because I did order a smaller size than I normally get, but I guess we'll find out. Um, it's just this little pink dress with like flowers on it and like puff sleeves, so super simple, super cute. And then I got this top. I thought I could maybe wear this in NOLA or just like going out, whatever. It's just this strapless kind of floral, corsety, fun top thing for spring. When I was going out last weekend, it was like 80 degrees and I realized that I have like no like spring, summer going out clothes. Um, so I got this one as well. It's just this basic top and literally can go with anything. Yeah, so that's why I got some things that's poly. And then this next thing is from Urban Outfitters and I've been wanting this for so long. They sent me a notification that they put it on sale a couple days ago. So I was like, okay, this maybe this is my sign that I just need to buck it out a bit. Urban Outfitters has like these like t-shirt like dresses. I mean, I don't wear it as a dress. It's just like super oversized t-shirts. And I have like the Smoky Mountains one. Y'all probably see me wear. Um, so this is the exact same style, but it's like a Johnny Cash shirt that I think is so fun. Oh my gosh, I literally love Johnny Cash. So it just looks like super cool and i saw this girl wearing this like on broadway in nashville one time with like cowboy boots and stuff and i was like girl that is so cute so we'll see and then this last thing is the big thing it's kind of special because you know graduation um so instead of getting a class ring i i don't know i just feel like i'd never wear it and like they're so expensive so it's like why spend the money for something that i'm never gonna wear um so i was like i'd rather have something that i would wear so this isn't sponsored or anything um but i've seen a lot of like influencers and stuff work with them it's kyle cabin jewelry so i wanted a necklace that kind of like represented like ut and like stuff oh my gosh i'm so excited oh it's so pretty so it's in this little bag i don't know all you can see but the necklace is the ut seal 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna shower and start slaving away on the rest of my paper. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get all of it done today. I just wanna leave enough to where tomorrow I only have to write like one or two pages and then be done. Um, Cause I do have the date party tonight. And so I would like to be able to go to that. So I'm gonna work really hard for the next couple hours and then I have to go to work and then come back for the date party. So yeah. Also, if you can't tell, I'm like not feeling so hot. I just have like the worst headache and like, I don't know. I think it's just like stress and exhaustion, like all combined into one. Like this weekend, I was so exhausted on Sunday. I was like trying to do homework and I was like falling asleep during it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a 30 minute nap and I took a three hour nap, so. That's great. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work and yeah. Okay, so I went to work for like 30 minutes and then decided that I needed to get the rest of my paper done. So my boss is literally the best person in the world and she let me leave so I went to the library for a while and I got a huge chunk of it done so I can go to the date party tonight without being like super stressed over it so that's good um but our date party theme tonight is rhyme without reason so let me show you all the full outfit so we put the sunglasses on so we get the full effect so I'm Kim K and my date is the NBA so get it rhyme without reason yeah anyway he's gonna be here in a few minutes and then we're going to a pregame then date party. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay at this date party tonight because I'm exhausted, so I may just stay for a couple minutes and come home, so yeah. Okay, um, so I did forget to film anything at the date party last night, so that's great. It's fine though, because we were only there for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, and then we left, so yeah. I'm about to finish the last like two pages of my paper. I have exactly two hours to bust it out, which I should be able to do. Um, and then I have to go to work. And then my mom is coming tonight. She's staying with me for a few days. So we're gonna go to Cool Beans, we're gonna go to Singo. I just wanna get this thing done, get it over with, and never write a paper like this ever again in my entire life. So yeah. I was gonna go to the library to do it, but I think I'm gonna go to the Calm Building patio because it's really pretty outside, if you can see that. Um, but yeah. Y'all, I just got it done. Oh my gosh, okay, well, I have to get my references in a certain order. I couldn't do that because my computer was on 1%, so I'm gonna do that when I get home tonight and charge it a little bit. But I got it done and I'm so happy, oh my god. Anyway, I'm going to work and then my mom's coming. I'm so happy I got it done. Oh my gosh. And I'm literally acting like I don't have to like present it basically to professors or whatever I'm supposed to do. But the paper part is done. The hard part is done. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. Not excited to graduate, but really excited that I have that done. And I never, ever, 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 ever have to do something like that again in my life. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go to work and yeah. <laughs> Focus. We just went on a little shopping trip. Yes, we did. Do you want to show them what we got in our in our haul? This. Is like, Hold on. First of all, where did we go? Sephora. Okay. So show us what we, show them what we got. <laughs> this is my favorite, favorite, favorite shampoo and conditioner, and I've never seen it in a pump before, and I was very excited, and it was very expensive, but it will last me forever. So I bought it. Okay. This was my Easter basket for myself today. It was fill your Easter basket day. Yeah. That's what Lars explained it. Do you want to explain what else we got? No, we got hair mask and um, dry shampoo and okay. concealer. We got some more dry shampoo. This is the Amika one. Best one ever. Literally amazing. And then we got the Amika Soul Food hair mask that, did you say you were going to try this tonight? Tomorrow. Or tomorrow? Morning. Yes. She's going to try it tomorrow. Um, and I've heard it's really good, so I'm really excited to try it. 
And then and the colors look like Julie from American Girl. Yeah, she thinks it reminds her of the Julie American Girl doll, mm -hmm. so that's what made her buy it for me. And it was filling her Easter basket. Hey. And then she got me some more concealer because I was out. And she was going to get me more Flawless Filter, but they were out of it. They so. did. Even online, they're out of stock. Yeah, it's just good stuff. We and then we looked for more. shoes. We didn't find any. But we went to Trader Joe's, and this is my favorite. So this flower, you just put it on your counter and do nothing. You don't have to water it. You don't do anything. Look, you can see it start to bloom. And it, it's really big, and it's happy. And I get one well, every year. Well, show them what the picture looks like. That's what there it's going to look like. They can't see that. Hold on. There it is. There you go. It's going to be lovely. I'm so excited. We were walking out, and I saw it, and I had to do it.